The only other time I felt that, have you been, I think it was at Alton Towers, they've got that. Rita. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. That ride, and I, this feels faster. Hello, I'm Nathan and I'm a detailer. Um, you might recognise this car behind me, this is Phil's uh, new Tesla uh, P90D. I'm going to be detailing it and Jules is going to be fitting paint protection film to the front end, the bonnet, the wings and the bumper. Um, I'm going to try and just show you through a little bit of the process. Yeah, hopefully you find it interesting. Okay, first up the wheels. This is a G-Technics iron out fallout remover. Uh, it basically works by dissolving the iron particles and turning, that's annoying, turning them purple. Okay, so I've sprayed the G-Technic uh, wheel cleaner and you can see it's now dissolving the iron, turns it this lovely purple colour. One wheel cleaned. you can actually use it on the body because um, it's pH neutral and it will dissolve any iron fallout and obviously you do this because although these are new cars they've been outside they've been next to railway lines they've been maybe on boats coming across from Europe or this one's come from America so they've, they've had a bit of a, a journey to get to where they are so they've probably picked up a lot of fallout and this shows up very well because it's it bleeds out purple or red when it starts to dissolve the iron particles. Um, and what dealers normally do is they just give the car a quick wash, stick the sealant onto it, and then take four, five, six, seven, eight hundred pounds, depending on which dealer you're going to, and say, oh look, there's your newly protected car. You get home, feel it, and feel all the rough bits on it because they haven't um, cleaned it properly. So this is just another little bit of um, why, why you should gonna go to a detailer. Obviously myself, uh, if you want to choose me, that's awesome. Um, but yeah, go to a detailer to get the car done because it's usually the same price um, and you get a hell of a lot better service. So that's just after a, about 20, 30 seconds, you can already start to see and it does show a lot better on the white car. Uh, the iron particles, they start to dissolve purple. And of course, the wheel, it looks very dramatic but it's a pH neutral uh, substance so it's not going to discolour any of the brake components. Probably wouldn't recommend it for uh, like weekly use because it's quite an expensive um, product, about £10 a litre usually. Um, so there's other ones you can use for your regular maintenance, but for a first detail, it's, um, it's a good one to use. And although it's, uh, it's crap weather out today, it's actually one of the best uh, conditions to wash a car. Never do it in the sun. Um, and if it's warm, everything just dries off too quickly. So I might be getting wet, but it's keeping the car nice and wet, keeping all the products moist on there as well. Right, once the uh, iron fallout uh, remover is done, next stage is to give the car a pre-wash. And basically this just gets off all the other contaminants like any sap or bugs or um, greasy residue before, um, before we give it a shampoo. A lot of people apply this in a foam through one of those uh, canisters that goes onto a pressure washer. You can do that, you don't need to, especially on a day like this when it's, um, when it's damp. You can just use one of these pump up sprayers, it causes far less mess. And once that has dwelled for a couple of minutes, you can start rinsing it off. You're actually looking at blasting as much dirt off as possible, so go quite slowly, quite methodically with the pressure washer. Okay, and just one more stage left, uh, shampooing. Two buckets, two buckets, one a rinse bucket, one a shampoo bucket. Put your, 
wash it in the rinse bucket and just give it a bit of a scrub. Pick up the shampoo, wash a section, back in the rinse bucket, scrub it off and pick up more shampoo. That way all of the dirt ends up in there and all of the clean shampoo stays in there. Thank you, bye-bye. Cheers, and that is how you safely wash a car. Right, the Tesla's all washed. Uh, time's ticking on very quickly, so yeah, it's back into the uh, workshop. Jules is gonna have this now to start the paint protection film. Have you ever seen a bigger screen than that in the inside of a car? This feels a little bit slow. How can I speed this up? Uh, driving, ludicrous, uh, max batch. I'm only kidding, Phil. I'm not going to do that to your car. Good morning, and back on the Tesla. It's just had its paint protection film applied. Now it's in for detailing. So the PPF has been applied to the front end only, and the only little traces you can see of it, that little corner there, is it gonna focus? Corner there, so the machine, the plotter, uh, cuts out the edges, and then everything else, that edge, and into the, into the bonnet is wrapped, and the same on the wing. So the wing, uh, you can just see there, that's better. So you get the very, very clean lines. Obviously we wrap where we can. So inside the door shut there is all wrapped as well. To give you this clean install and the gloss, as you can see from the, uh, from the camera, gloss is exactly the same as the rest of the paint. So it's, it's not an invisible install. At the end of the day, it's a product that is there to protect the paint. Um, but it's as, good as it's, um, it's as good as we can physically get it with the, with the products we have at the moment. Lights are protected as well on this car. Front of the sill to here. There's a little line there that, again, so low down on the car you can barely see it. And the mirrors. The mirrors got a line around that you can, again, can barely see. The other bits that I'm doing now, uh, all these blue bits of tape on the car are where I've been round and there's a small defect that I'm gonna now polish out. As with most brand new cars, there's normally little areas where maybe they've been polished slightly on the production line 
or it's just been marked in transportation so they detract from the look of it and obviously like I said being brand new it needs to be perfect. Right I've machine polished the other side it's coming up very well so I'll do a bit of a time lapse just to show you what's going on here. Bit of a harder polish first just to get rid of the defects and then go over it with a finishing polish afterwards to make it nice and glossy. <laughs> I use a panel wipe to wipe down the area I've just polished. Reason being is the polish contains a lot of oils that carry the, um, the abrasives. I'm, I'm holding my fist like that to symbol an abrasive. Um, obviously they're microscopically small. But the, um, the oils can leave a glaze on the panel that makes it look as if it's been corrected. Later on when the customer gets home, washes the car, those oils come out and you can see all the marks again. So me getting the oils off now, I can see that I am actually correcting the paint. Right, polishing's complete. There wasn't much to show on a white car, but I will link in now some images of a red car that I did yesterday, where you can clearly see on the bonnet the marks that can be caused from preparation and uh, out in the light if these catch the eye they're obviously pretty unsightly so these are all polished away and then uh, with the paint completely corrected and wiped down it's time for the G-Technic. <laughs> Okay, the car is completely polished and wiped down with first of all the panel wipe and then another panel wipe called Spice Hacker 7010 which gets all of the silicon off the, off the body uh, ready for the G-Technic. This is G-Technic Crystal Serum. This is Kamikaze ISM. The, both of them together go onto the car. This is the base coat, this is the top coat. The base coat gives you seven years of protection, swirl and chemical resistance. The top coat makes it extremely hydrophobic, easy to wash and repels all the dirt. So once you're buffing it off, you have to check it with the lights to, so you can see the reflection. Obviously if there's any left on the panel that isn't buffed off immediately uh, and it cures, then you have to wet sand it to remove it, uh, which is why it's a professional only application. g Crystal Serum completes and uh, the next stage is the Kamikaze top coat. Right, the application is very similar to the Crystal Serum, but you don't have to buff it off as quickly. <laughs> been often treated with G-Technic C5. Body is all done with the crystal serum on the panels that haven't got paint protection film and then Kamikaze ISM over the whole thing. Last job is the glass. And it's gonna have a polish with some G-Technic G4 before the G1 goes on. So, uh, front screen polished and the rest of the glass is cleaned and now it's time to apply the G-Technic G1. So I've put three coats onto the windscreen, uh, two to start off with, then go around the whole car, uh, putting a coat on the side and rear glass, and it's got a glass roof on this car as well, and then come back and do another coat on the front screen. Phil, your Tesla is finally complete.